Buying versus leasing. How do you decide whether to buy or lease a car? The real answer? You guessed it. It depends. It depends on your typical behavior and on your financial and business situation to start. A lease may be right for you if you upgrade every three to four years, you own a business which can make the payments, you drive less than 15,000 miles a year, you want to always be covered by the manufacturer's warranty, you want to spend less for car payments in the short term, and you want to try a vehicle for a while before buying it. On the other hand, buying may be right for you if you rarely buy a new car and you keep yours more than five years. You look for ways to maximize your dollars, you drive more than 15,000 miles a year, and you're able to repay a loan in five years or less. What does leasing mean, actually? People who lease cars don't own them. They're actually owned by someone else, the leasing company. It's really a lot like renting. You pay a fee to the owner in order to have use of the vehicle, and when the term is up, you give them the car back. If you want an expensive car, leasing might be the only way to obtain it for those who don't have enough cash. This is because the payments are usually significantly lower than a loan payment. Here's a business alert. If you own a business, you can possibly take advantage of some tax deductions, including the car payments and the maintenance. This sums it up. If you lease, you can free up some funds now and be driving a slick ride. However, beware that you will end up paying more over the long term when you do lease. There are lots of pros and cons to buying into leasing. Want to know what they are? Right below this video, there's a link. Click on it.